All right, you guys, today's review slash try on is going to be the subscription service called Fashion. And I really enjoyed Fashion, so I am happy to be giving a positive review today. But I will say that they did reach out to me to partner on this video. That does not mean that I had to give a positive re review. I could give, I'm going to give my 100% honest. Um, opinion and feedback but just know that I did have a positive experience so I'm just excited to be able to tell you guys about this box today so um, you got to try new things you know what I mean so they will curate a selection of items after you fill out a quiz all about you and what you like and your sizes and all of that stuff they will curate a selection of items and you will pick the ones that you want to try on at home in your profile which I like especially if you like a little bit more control you get to choose the items they'll send them to you you get to try them on if you love them keep them you'll get a discount for keeping a certain amount of items and if you hate them send them back it's free to send them back and the styling service only costs 15 bucks so I like the idea of them just picking some items and sending them to you and you can try them on at home like I'm um, y'all yeah, girl okay <laughs> and it's super affordable so uh yes and I do like that with this box they actually had different tiers um that were a little bit more reasonable so they had a 20 to 40 dollar range which is what I selected okay I don't like spending a lot of money on my clothes I just really don't I I just don't I like to switch things up you know I feel like I ruin things a lot I stain things I just don't want to spend a lot of money so I like that they had that lower tier option and overall again I had a positive experience I'm gonna show you the items um, but my stylist really listened to me and that speaks volumes you guys she really uh, listened to the little blip I said where I like wearing red I, I live in Arizona I like lightweight you know flowy items I work from home so I don't need like corporate attire so I really like that so without further ado let's get into the review Okay, so for my items that I show you, I'm going to kind of go in order of middle range, didn't hate or love it, then I'm going to show you my absolute favorite and then my least favorite. So this is the first one that I have for you. So this is kind of a middle range. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I'm not too much of a floral girl myself. Um, I'm just not ever quite a fan of florals. This is actually a really pretty one. If I had to pick one, this is kind of along the lines that I would go with because it is a darker tone and richer tone floral than um, kind of like a pastel moment. But I would definitely have to spice it up with a black leather skirt and maybe some knee-high boots, something like that to wear out. Um, because just wearing this with like jeans would just not be my vibe at all. So probably not going to keep this one, but it is really cute and it's very comfortable. It is also very light, um, which is really great for Arizona. Arizona. And I did actually like that it is a longer shirt, so it would cover, you know, your bits if you were to just wear some leggings with it. So it's a cute top, but just not for ya girl. Okay, next item is this top. So I didn't love or hate it either. I do like it though, actually. <laughs> I'm like, I do like it. However, it is a little too like boxy and kind of structured with the collar and everything. It doesn't feel very feminine to me. Sorry, my puppies. Um, it doesn't feel very feminine. Like I don't feel like sexy or like any kind of way in this top. So that's the only thing that I didn't quite um, gravitate towards. The colors are awesome. The print is awesome. It's loud. It makes a statement. I love clothes like that. And my um, stylist really listened to me in that regard. I said I love to wear red and she provided me a red item to wear. So um, I would probably do the same thing and spice it up with like a leather skirt, um, probably different kind of shoes than the knee-high boots something like that and then um i would probably tie it up like this and do something along these lines or with like a pair of black high-waisted jeans um something to just kind of spice it up and make it feel like a little cuter and i feel like with the right outfit or with like the right person and their style and vibe this could be a winner Okay, so this is the next item that I have. Again, this is kind of a middle range item for me. It is absolutely beautiful. It's a stunning dress. It really is so pretty with the colors. I do like the colors. I like the way it fits. It feels amazing. Um, I like that it has the attached belt to create kind of a, a cinched waist. Um, 
it's just not my vibe like the dress is gorgeous and I think for the right person it would be so so pretty for a brunch or a bridal shower or you know a day date or a church or anything like that you could the options are obviously endless to where you could wear something like this because it is so pretty it's just not my vibe I know that if this was hanging in my closet I wouldn't go for it but I really really do like it so um, I think for the right the, for the right gal it's gonna be perfect but for me um, it looks amazing on and when I see it like kind of back in the in the video I'm like oh that's really pretty but I just know I'm not gonna go for it but it was a good option from the stylist again I do like trying things that I wouldn't normally go for this is one of them probably not gonna keep it but it is a beautiful dress girl this is the next item and I am so here for this skirt so yes, it is the skirt. It is not this plain little top. I am wearing a black sports bra underneath, so if you can see that, that's what it is. Apologies. Um, but this skirt is gorgeous, you guys. I really love the fact that my stylist did listen to me um, when I gave her my feed, like my tips on things for my style. Um, I mentioned that I live in Arizona, it's super hot, and I want lightweight things. She definitely gave me a lot of lightweight and summery hot Arizona pieces, and this is one of them. And it is so, so beautiful, you guys. Like, look how flowy and like. Ooh, girl, I just feel like, ooh, it's just so pretty. I'm here for the skirt. I love this skirt. I'm definitely going to keep this one, so yay! Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> so this is the last item that I got in my box. I thought that they were going to be cute. I have a similar style pair of shorts. They are the same color, the chambray kind of color, but they have, like, the paper bag, um, like, waist where it kind of, like, flirt, like, frills out and it has like the tie if that makes sense um and that I much prefer these are just unfinished shorts I and they don't go high enough so if it's unfinished with this waistband because I wouldn't just wear that waistband out that's just my personal opinion I would want it higher waisted so I can tuck something in and have it flowing over but I couldn't figure that out it just didn't look right I kind of get this weird like cinch effect here from trying to pull them up so I don't like where the waistband sits the a for effort because again they're a short they are cute they have a little something extra um, it is hot in Arizona so I can never have enough shorts it's just they just did well hello they just didn't do it for me I I look like I have like a fupa you know it's just not just not a fan not a fan so this is my least favorite item I will definitely be sending this one back but you know, I tried them. I tried everything on in the box, and that's important. Even if you don't think you're going to like something, just put it on. It's not going to hurt. Just throw it on, even if you're like, oh my god, I hate this color. You never know. So I did try them on. It's just not, not a fan of these shorts. They are cute, I think, again, for the right person or something. I think if you had a shorter torso, maybe they would sit better. Um, but yeah, not going to keep these ones. All right, you guys, that is it. That is my... Uh, try on haul of the fashion subscription box. I overall had a really enjoyable experience and I definitely say give them a try. This subscription box um, for the fashion sub subscriptions, this one listened to me the most out of any that I've tried and I really really appreciate that. That goes and speaks volumes for the service itself right because you're paying them to style you not to just style a bunch of people and give them all kind of like the same thing um which i know happens with other boxes so i really really suggest giving them a try it's 15 bucks and you know i always say at least do like two or three boxes because they might not know your style right away but they'll start to learn your style as they style you so you have to give them a fair shot in that aspect so i would definitely say at least do like three boxes and then if you're like you know what they're just not getting it which i don't think will be the case you can you know make a decision but i think overall i had a really enjoyable experience and i would highly suggest giving them a shot um so yeah that's my little video on fashion so if you liked this video feel free to give it a thumbs up um subscribe if you want to hang out again and yeah until next time i will catch you on the flip side Bye!